Hello hi welcome to my channel Divya Crochet World today we are going to learn how to make a basic foundation tin to make it make a slip knot and place it on your hook with the working yarn behind the hook hold the yarn tight near the base of the knot to make it easier to create the next stitch turn the palm of your non dominant hand to face you loop your work around your pinky and loop the yarn around your index finger and bring the yarn up to the front of your fingers in a form to make a grip grip your work with your middle finger and thumb and adjust the angle of your fourth finger to control the yarn tension you need to do a yarn over for doing a yarn over you need to keep your hook around the working yarn and pull over pull through the slip knot and this forms the first chain This is the complete first chain. Like this, you need to make all the chains by pulling up your loop into the chain. This is called yarn over, and pull it from the loop. Like this, you can count and make how many number of basic foundation chain you want. to help you keep your chain straight and make it easier to create a chain stitch sis keep moving your yarn holding hand as close as possible to the base of the upcoming stitch yarn over and pull through the chain and go ahead and create the chain of your choice here i made a chain of 25 Here's the chain with 25 stitches in it. as you can see the completed foundation chain where you can see these are formed and this is the back piece back view of the chain this is the front view of the foundation chain where you can count the these as one chain as you count upward you will find we made a 25 chain We should not count the starting slip knot in the last chain on the hook. And we need to count only the stitches between the slip knot and the last hook. The end part. This is the basic foundation chain. Now you can use this chain 
and make different crochet projects thank you for watching